Okay, so here we have a John Deere 2025R uh, compact tractor. And I uh, want to give you a brief overview today on how the float function works, not just on this model, but on any model of John Deere tractor, um, as well as how to use that in conjunction with the bucket level indicator if your tractor is equipped with one. So, I uh, got this bucket raised up and machine is turned off right now. But I can show you this float function and how it works with the machine off. So you'll see this bar, this, this bent bar on the other side uh, of the loader arm there and uh, where it's supported in that bracket. So right now I have a position so that when this bucket is level on the ground or, or lowered all the way to the ground it is going to be level as well so and I know that because this bend here is right right where it goes through this the support bracket so when it's even with that you know that it's going to be level when it's on the ground so it is adjustable so it can be set up out of the factory or added on afterwards as well but you'll notice after I fire it up too, that that arm will move forward or backwards too, depending on how I curl or roll the bucket. So anyway, I'll give you a, a quick idea of here of how the uh, float position does work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that loader joystick and not just push it forward, but almost almost slam it forward into a second function that's up there. And what that does is relieve the downward pressure and going to allow that bucket just to come down and rest on the surface so it'll really follow the contour of the ground that you want to plow or if you want to back drag with it as well it's a very handy feature so i'll go ahead and push this forward right now and you can see it's just going to drop and this is the same regardless if you have a uh, a loader mounted joystick say maybe on a 3032E or a 3038E or if you're on a, a fender mounted joystick uh, such as this one. So to release or reverse that function just pull back and you can be right back where you were. So, And again there's that bucket level indicator. You can see the bend is going right th through that support bracket and our bucket is the bottom edge of it, the leading edge there is level on the ground. 